got off the train for Disneyland Paris. We made it. Over there is Disney Studios Park. And over here is Disneyland Park. And that's the Disneyland Hotel that you walk through. It's the entrance. The train station is right over here, which we walked through. So we just went through bag check and security. And it looks like that's the Disney Village over there. So like their version of Downtown Disney. Can you hear the music? We're going over here somewhere to leave our bags. Consign, that's where we're going to leave our bags. And they're playing an enchanted medley that we don't have in Florida. We got our tickets and it's for Mickey's birthday. I love it. Lots of Pixar music so far, and it's all decorated for Halloween. How do you say Disneyland in French? Huh. Disneyland. You know how they would say it? Disneyland Park with a C instead of a K. Oh, I see the castle. Oh, we need our maps, Caleb. We need an English one. English. And is that the Times Guide as well? We need that. We're walking underneath the uh, classic tunnels with the attraction posters. Oh, it's short. Everything is short. And spooky music. Okay, everything is short. That's the first thing I noticed. Doesn't feel as busy. I gotta show you what we're seeing. just seem shorter and they have these Halloween wreaths dangling like they used to do at Christmas in Orlando but they stopped doing because the floats got too tall so the parade must be fairly short as well here and the ground feels flat it feels flatter All right. the Emporium is still on our left side and I think I think we just past like a confectionery type thing on the right but is it I can't tell if it's wider or if it just feels less cramped we're walking on brick and that's different and it doesn't feel like we're walking uphill but maybe we are it feels like I don't know something feels totally different but yet very familiar about where we are right now yeah it feels like I don't know. Not real. It's like all um, quaint, small. There's Casey's. Which is funny because it's so perfect in the U.S. But I think it's, it's the like... bricks. The bricks are throwing me off. Yeah. And the little, the little trolley tracks. They're less um, deadly. It looks like, like yeah. harder to break your ankle. Right. Wow. We're here. We're in the hub. Ah, the Gibson Girl is their version of the Main Street Ice Cream Parlor. They have Ben and Jerry's and we have Edie's. Do you keep hearing all these like ghost things? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but the whoo, whoo, and it's like spooky ghost noises interrupting the uh, area music every once in a while. No um, Mickey pumpkin wreaths here, but that lamppost has a witch hat. Same exact architecture on their popcorn stand right there. Wow, that looks like Tom Sawyer Island right over there. You see that? 
Yeah. That's their um, that's their frontier land. So where our adventure land is, that's their frontier land. But it looks like Tom Sawyer Island. Okay, where's the partner statue? They have one. Every park has one. Where is it? Not here. This is wide open. And that's their adventure land, which looks like Aladdin. Wow. See that? Okay, and so their Tomorrowland is Jules Verne theme, and it's called Discovery Land or Discoverland. Ooh, I should know that, but it's not called Tomorrowland. This is like the weirdest feeling to be somewhere so familiar, but you know so much about, but looks completely different. to go through um, Frontierland, which is the first land over there. And we'll pass Big Thunder. I'll get a um, fast pass for Big Thunder. And we'll walk right to Phantom Manor, which is their version of Haunted Mansion. And it's very different. And I'm really excited to ride that one. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of a plan today for what order of fast passes to get and what rides to ride first but it should only like it's only a plan for a couple of hours and then we'll do whatever we want the fast pass system is like disneyland in california and what disney world used to have the paper fast pass system so we use our park ticket put it in a machine it spits out a paper fast pass and it tells us what time we come back so it's not using our phone but the app does have wait time so we can use the app for that Frontierland. And there's these teepees over here. It really does feel exactly like Tom Sawyer Island right here. Like the fort. Legends of the Wild West. And all decorated for fall. Wow. And the boat's right in front of us. I don't know what the name is of the boat here. And Big Thunder's right in front of us. And there's pins. Wow. looks much more like a haunted mansion than our haunted mansion looks like a haunted mansion. Wouldn't you agree? What's your favorite thing? The Frontierland Shooting Arcade. The Rustler Roundup Shooting Gallery. <laughs> Hope you have your Euro coins. Hey, does this look cocoa y to you? So, the people riding rides right now are extra magic hours, just like in um, Florida. They are hotel guests and they got in an hour or something before us. Dios de la Muertos. Interesting placement in the Wild West. Ah, okay. It looks like Arizona and Mexico over here. Here's the entrance, so I'm assuming the fast passes are located nearby. Fast pass tickets, that's probably the line. Ah, this is the line to get the fast pass ticket. Okay, we scan it. There it goes. I got it. So we can come back between 10.45 and 11.15. So it's a half hour window instead of the hour long window that we're used to. Our first ride is Phantom Manor, which is back the way we came. So it's cold. The high today is 50 and we're not there yet. It's like a, it's like a bad chilly day in Florida while snowboarding, right? Yeah. We're used to it. It's pretty cold. It's pretty cool. I also wanted to say that as much as I love vlogging everything and I want to show everything and document everything so I can even look back and look at it, I don't want to vlog a lot while on the first time on any ride. 
so I'm sure we'll go on everything multiple times, but that being said, you won't see a lot when I go on rides, but you'll see more later if I go on it a second time. Either the pathways are like smaller and for some reason it's making me think the buildings are shorter or the buildings are actually shorter. I can't tell. But it feels like everything is just a little bit smaller. This is so cool. The sign looks exactly like Haunted Mansion with a different face. Oh wow. How cool. So that sign behind that crying baby says five minute wait time. So that's where the wait times are. You have to walk all the way in to see, I guess. So this looks, okay, so it fits in Frontierland, right? Don't you think? Like, like the decor that they have here is very like Western. Oh, I'm hearing the music. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm hearing the slow do, 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 do. I believe this sign says chicken exit. I read a good French. We're in line and I feel excited, but I feel weird, like apprehensive. Like I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be like yet. So like I'm not like fully, fully excited. I'm kind of like, this is weird. Like I'm in somewhere so familiar, but I'm so confused. I don't know where anything is and it all looks totally different. So like, I'm confused, but I'm so excited. Welcome, curious friends. It is so nice to have guests. Nous sommes ravis de vous accueillir, humble mortel, dans ce mystérieux manoir. Et les temps changé. Now, curious souls, come. I have more to show you. Our tour begins here, in this town. We gaze on the yeah. sweet, easy yeah. salute. There's kindness in all the way. Look through the wise and There's no Even you? And notice this. This chamber has no windows and no doors, which offers you this chilly challenge to find a way out. <laughs> Par ailleurs, il n'y a ni porte, ni fenêtre. Par où sortir Si vous ne trouvez pas le moyen de vous échapper, le fantôme des lieux se fera un plaisir de vous aider. so cool while Caleb eats a baguette. Um, I'm not gonna lie, riding it, and I got a little bit teary-eyed a couple times because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like, it's so familiar and so different. The first half of the ride was very similar to what we have, but like, fun differences. And then the second half, I'd say, is like, so different. I don't even know where to start, but the crazy different part was that there was a lot about the bride, a big bride theme, and I think the, the phantom is like death looming over the bride. 
it seemed like. Because like every time you saw the bride, you saw Grace. this phantom-like figure, which was also the ghost host hanging in the stretching room, which was a real elevator, right? That was totally a real elevator, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were moving. So lots of the bride, and then after the ballroom scene, when you go down and it's like you're going into the graveyard, we still did that, but then we saw this crazy audio animatronic of the Phantom, and it was scary. Super scary and creepy, and then there was this weird dog creature audio animatronic that was like drooling and like vicious looking, and that was scary. But then it went into the actual graveyard part with um, Grim Grin and Ghost playing, and the audio animatronics were like super lively and green. It was Wild West. They were like shooting each other and drinking and stuff, and there was the mayor, and the mayor was the ghost host voice from, from Orlando. And he said, he said, welcome foolish mortals. The mayor did, and he took off his head. So lots of, lots of similarities, lots of differences, but I loved like hearing the things that we have and like seeing like the wallpaper in parts of it was what we have. And some of the pictures on the wall were what we have, but like Madame Leota was totally different. And yeah, this is exciting. I'm gonna stop now before I review every single detail of that ride. This, this sign says Indiana Jones. That's the roller coaster I told you was closed. Unfortunately, there is, though, that looks like adventure. Caleb, come back. I see the uh, I see the pirate ship and I see the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse or whatever they call it here. And so this must be the way to Adventureland. Um, hey, Hook. Yeah, the Indiana Jones roller coaster is under refurbishment this trip. Here's the Adventureland sign. We're going the right way. We're looking for piratey things. Uh, so the pirate tried, I just follow the pirate. Oh yeah, follow that pirate. <laughs> Everything seems wide here. Maybe it's just empty right now, but the uh, tree house is on an island. Well, I think we're on the island right now. Because <laughs> we walked over a bridge. But there's a pirate ship, so we're going the right way. Looking for an entrance. I honestly have no idea where I am. We might need the map. This is Gun's Cave. Oh, here's a map. We're looking for... Oh, is it up there? We're lost. We are at that pirate ship, and we need to get... Pirates of the Caribbean is number 18, which is up there. So, I don't know. We are at the back of the pirate ship, so we need to go around somehow. I don't know. We'll walk and figure it out. Taking a risk. Caleb's got his treasure map, so... We are going through the... What's it called? Uh, the grotto? Cove. The Pirate's Cove. We're walking through here. It looks promising. I thought this was like a walkthrough. I think... You got your Davy Jones locker over there. Yeah, this is something you can explore. But, oh, we just walked through. Okay, cool. I thought that was like a whole experience that we were going to get Trust stuck in. Caleb. Yeah. All right, so that castle. See the castle? That's where we're going. Oh, wow. A plus on theming Disneyland Paris. Captain Jack's restaurant. That's a sit down restaurant. They are playing music from the movies, just like they do in Florida. Okay, I'm smelling a smell that smells different than our pirates, but it smells like chlorine. Oh, and I'm here in the, the loop, the music loop. Can you hear it? This music is different than what we have. There's the loading room. This is beautiful. It feels like you're outside. There's tons of plants everywhere. I don't know what the camera picks up, but like it feels like it's nighttime and you're outside. You're wandering through caves and lush palm trees. Q is definitely way more immersive than, uh, than the U.S. Q 
it feels like the frozen queue where there's just stuff everywhere and I think they do like the vertical stuff really well like everything above you is themed where in the normal pirates queue in the US everything above you is just kind of plain right got off pirates and I love it so much. Though we do have to walk and figure out where we're going because we're going to Fantasyland. We need to, we're gonna go get a fast pass for Peter Pan and then we're going to figure out if we have enough time to ride something quick in Fantasyland before 11.15, which is when our Big Thunder fast pass expires. The important thing to note is that this Pirates is better than the other Pirates. It is. Oh, Fantasyland, sign right there. Okay, we're good. That was crazy. That was so cool. Like, all the theming is just upped. Like, there's plants everywhere, and I think that makes a huge difference. All the palm trees everywhere. Even though they kind of obstruct your view here and there, it's like so immersive, and we do not have that. Um, so, that's a big thing. There are a lot of similarities, but like scenes were out of order, which is cool because you're like, oh, what's, what's happening next? There were two drops. Um, oh my gosh, so crazy. I loved it. I loved it. We're in Fantasyland. There's Dumbo. It looks like Snow White over there. And the carousel. We are looking. Oh, Peter Pan. <laughs> This fantasy land is beautiful. There's the teacups and small world in the distance. I can't wait to get closer to small world. The carousel, the back of the castle. Wow, and then here's Pinocchio. Let's see the wait time. If it's short, we're gonna ride this. So we're not gonna ride something right now, but we got our Peter Pan fast pass and we're going back to Big Thunder for me to ride. Caleb doesn't do roller coasters and we have two fast passes, so I might do it twice but i just saw someone with one of the reusable bags that you buy um because disney doesn't stop making the plastic bags for waste and it's like different than disney world of course because it shows the different land icons so i might buy one so when the waits get really long later today we're gonna be able to just um, do all the walkthroughs because there's a bunch of walkthroughs um, that are no wait and you just walk through. <laughs> we could ride that later if you want, you just wait at the stop. We have that in Disney World too and I've never ridden it. <laughs> this is our Main Street music and that's the same roof and architecture for their popcorn and ice cream stand. We are going back to Big Thunder. I just learned you can go up in that fort. So just like Tonsar Island, you can walk up the stairs and go through it. Okay, so Caleb left me. He's looking for breakfast and he doesn't do roller coasters. So I am going to ride with my fast pass and I'm looking for the line. Oh, it's way over there, okay. Here's the fast pass line. It's pretty far from the main entrance. I had to ask someone to find it. And I'm gonna ride it probably twice in a row because I have my fast pass and his. This line is moving really slow. I'm not sure I'll be able to get out before the 11.15 end time to the fast pass, so I might not be able to use both, but at least one. Missy. So they have us going through turnstiles and every single ride must be just to count everybody. Um, in Disney World, the cast members hold a little clicker in their hand to count everybody. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, best remove them. So I 
I rode it twice. Um, I managed to get back in the fast pass line at 11.16 and they let me in, so I don't know. But um, rode it twice, so much fun. Um, similarities, it's the same theming, but instead of a flood, there's the dynamite effect like in Disneyland. So we were hoping that when um, Big Thunder went down for a big refurbishment recently that it would open with this effect and it didn't. But Disneyland has this thing where when you go up one of the hills, there's like dynamite lighting along the path and then you see the explosions and then you go down. Um, here, there's also, at the beginning, there's about 15 seconds of just pitch black, and it's so much fun. And then at the very end, it's like probably the last 30 seconds is totally pitch black, and that was probably my favorite part. We don't have anything like that. Um, there were no moments where you're like coming out of your seat, so it was it was less crazy, I feel like. But the, the darkness is definitely something different than what we have. So there's no flood, and down, when you go down and, uh, and see things. We don't, like, we have a village. They didn't have a village um, to see, but you did see a shed, and I think there was a guy in a bathtub in the shed, which would be fun because there is a guy in a bathtub in Disney World somewhere. Um, and then you saw two donkeys, and you saw a goat pulling clothes off of a clothesline. Um, but, yeah, I think my favorite parts were that it's dark like pitch black during some parts there's one part where you're in a cave and you see the other train in the other si side of the cave um, it's it's cool it seems a little bit more themed and detailed and definitely longer definitely longer but less crazy I don't know if it's the wildest ride in the wilderness we're about to ride Pinocchio and to my knowledge this is a replica of the Disneyland version, which is, I think, a uh, original ride, and I've never been to Disneyland, so this is my first time riding this. Geppetto is hard at work in his shop. wait a little while. The sign said 45 minutes. I don't know, do you think it was similar to that? Uh, yeah, at least, yeah. Yeah, that was kind of a long wait, but that's okay. They don't have the fast passes like we do. So we rode the Pinocchio ride and it was much longer than I expected. I prepped him for like the same length of like Pooh Bear and what I was used to for Snow White and Peter Pan. Like they're all really short, but that felt a little longer, right? Yeah. And there were two drops, no. big ones. <laughs> no, but uh, very simple and nice and classic. Yeah. Charming, charming. It was very cute. Um, I'm glad I got to do it. And the whole thing was in French, the entire thing. There were no um, English parts. And the other rides we've done so far have been a little bit of both. This is a, I don't know, storybook. I think it's kind of like what they have in Disneyland, the storybook boats or something. But it seems lovely, doesn't it? We're on the boat! Do you guys think those are real bonsai trees? Super cool. Yes. The Cave of Wonders, 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 Wonders. The Cave of Wonders has a uvula. Touch nothing but the lamp. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. We are wondering why the Wizard of Oz is here. Well, that was cute. It was a little bit shorter than I expected, but it was very cute. 
I liked listening to all the music and recognizing where everything was from. But why Wizard of Oz? Does Disney own? They own a lot of things, so maybe they own it, but I don't know. Anyway, we will do Casey Jr.'s train soon, another time. But right now we have a Peter Pan Fast Pass that we're gonna catch. And I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any differences. So that's where you meet Mickey, not on Main Street. I like that he's in Fantasyland, that makes more sense. And I was really excited for a second because I saw Toad over there, but I think that's just a restaurant that is not the ride like in Disneyland. And Peter Pan is over there.